there's a black dog barking and he's running wild because there's, there's no guts, there's no glory, you're breaking out of hell. Today, Airborne, breaking out of hell. Today on the Metal Voice, we've got two reviews coming right at you. One is Airborne, Breaking Out of Hell, and the second one is Ripper's new adventure called Charred Walls of the Dam. So let's start with Airborne, Jim. Alan. What do you got going on with Breaking Out of Hell? Their, how many albums have to do that? Four. Four albums. That I know. I, to me, I put on this album, I put on the other albums. I mean, if you love that style of music, then you're going to, you know, it's, it's, it's a really good album. I, each track no sort of sounds like AC. No, that's what it is. No, no surprise. It's no airborne. That's right. You're not going to do a ballad. Yeah. Even ACDC slipped in a ballad <laughs> one time in her life. <laughs> uh, uh, this is music. Four to, to four. Party. Aussie pub rock. There we go, right there. Airborne, man. Okay, Running Wild. Let's go back. Running Wild. We've interviewed Biff from Saxon. Hey, anything out there that sounds interesting? A new band? Airborne names. Airborne. Tour, tour, tour. Fantastic. Well, bands do still make it. I mean, you know, I watched Airborne go yeah, from like a, nothing to quite big. Uh, from sheer exuberance, really. ACDC wasn't around. They were, they were kind of uh, taking uh, their, the their, their, their normal gap between albums. Airborne filled that gap. Everybody's excited. They're out there touring. They're nothing but high energy. There we go. Second album, No Cuts, No Glory. No guts, no glory. We're like, okay, hey, and they're promoting this as a fun. This is what the first album. Uh, eh, a little dip, little dip. And even they'll admit that today. Uh, if yeah. you read the very interviews, there's something missing there. Come back with Black Dog Barking. Yeah. Okay, Black Dog Barking. Okay, like the other two. All right, no problem. But Jim, this album, I think the timing's good. Yeah. I think the timing is good, and and it's it's what they've always done, and that's what they've done the best. There's no surprises. People criticize, oh, it sounds the same, okay, and, like, and then in a moment they do something different, they'll be criticized for doing something different. This is what they're about, this is what they do. If you've ever seen them live, it's non-stop, four by four on the floor. That's it, four on the floor, the drums, this is all he does for the two hours that they play. Great live band. I don't know how he can still sing after all these yeah, shows, yeah, yeah. after all these years, because he lets it all out. Uh, same four guys plugging away what they were doing way back when. I, I, that's what it comes down to. That's what I originally said. Uh, it's just airborne, right? It, it's airborne is airborne. They're not going to be do. anything else. Not, they're not going to jump into no prog. They're not going to jump no into keyboards. No jazz. No keyboards. <laughs> they have a song. Maybe a sax solo. No, that's another album. And then they even have a tribute to Lemmy on this album. It's there all for yeah. rock and roll, and they talk about Lemmy and you know, I guess living the rock and roll lifestyle. What can I say? I mean, as I go down the tracks, I go, let me talk about each track. But each track is, like you said, it's 4-4, four, four, it's 4-4, four, four, it's ACDC, I've heard it's it before. It's good, it's well done, it's you what know, they it's do. You know, it's party rock. That's it's right. party rock. Three minutes songs, get in, get out, go on to the next song, same thing. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, so there's really not much to say other than same old story. If you love Airborne, you'll love this new album. I can't see you not liking this album. If you're a fan who never liked Airborne before, chances are you won't like them now. Well, I, I, mean, I, I think, I don't know. I. I what do you think? Second, second album was a dip. Black Dog Barking, I, I couldn't really get into. I don't know. It's like you said, it's all the same. I don't know why. I don't know the reason why. But this one, for me, I don't know. It, 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 it started re-energizing me. I'm start, I re-appreciate them on this album. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's, it's what they do, guys. That's, what they, That's do. what they do. Evergrey, we spoke in a previous show. They're dark. You know, the lyrics. Oh, it's an introspective. That's what they do. They're not going to do a song like Airborne. Airborne's not going to do a song like Evergrey or Dream Theater. This is what they do, and this is what they do well, and this is what their careers are. Now, saying that, Jim, the question is, yeah. have they stagnated? Right now, they're playing the same clubs. I know they're, they're touring again. They're playing the same places they played. Last tour, yeah, yeah, you know, how do we grow this now, right? How do we go from here? Where do we go from here? And I think that's to my point, Al. Jim. That's if you look point. at the Why history, the history of Australian pub rock, that was maybe one of the criticisms from all those bands. Uh, if it's a rose tattoo or Billy Thorpe, uh, colored balls, all these guys. Yeah. Where do they go? What's the next step? Yeah. Was Heaven. There, what, was there a song on this album that's going to be sort of like the Hell's Bells of ACDC? Yeah. That big massive that's, hit. Uh, that's a good point. Is here. there a that's song on need. this album? I think there isn't. But they're still very catchy songs. They're still fun songs to 
listen to and put on when you got a group of friends over, right? When you're drinking. And at these guys, where they excel is live. Taking these songs and performing them live and just, you know, blowing oh. everybody off, off the stage. That's their forte. <laughs> you know? A Saturday night, you head down, have a few brewskis or whatever, watch these guys. I mean, you can't stand still. Yeah. And the sheer energy coming off the stage, you leave there drained and soaking wet. Yeah, yeah, Never yeah. mind what they're doing. And then he takes off through the crowd, he's playing in the back, he's standing on the bar in the back, on the table in the back. He, you know, I mean, it's unbelievable. That's what you expect. That's what you want going in. That's what Aussie Rock's all about. It's a punch to the face. It's a get in, get out. Let's go. Next song. Yeah. Same thing. Bang. It, it's, it's so hard to rate a group like Airborne because they just play one style of music and they're never going to change that style. So how do you rate this? Production-wise, it's, it's a decent production, a very good production. The songs are catchy as hell. And I guess it would be somewhere like 8 out of 10, I guess, right? If they were more original and they had that big hit, I'd put it at a 9. But I think it's a good, a great album, 8 out of 10. Okay. What would you say? There we go. We're looking for the big hit, that their Hell's Bells, their Highway to Hell. That's what we need from Airborne to take them, I think, to that next level. Yeah. Next on the agenda. In these trying times. Next on the agenda. Next. Alex. Charred right. Walls of the Dam. Charred Walls let of the Jim Dam. Go. Jim discovered this recently. Creatures Watching Over the Dead. Mr. Mr. Ripper Owens. Ripper Owens. Yeah. So Jim, what's, this, what's the story here, Jim? I'm going to interview I Jim. Was, I what's, was, is this, what, is this his band? New band? Is this, how they have this a few work? albums what's, out. What's the story here? They have a few albums out. Last album they did together was uh, five years ago. Uh, when I, I wasn't expecting much. I've never even heard of this band before, so I put on... So it's a band called Charred Walls yes. of the Dam, and yes. they said, we need a guy to sing on this. Hey, Ripper, what are no, you no, doing? No, 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 it's no? a band that's already existed. They already have two other albums okay. out, so... But with or without Ripper? With Ripper. Okay. And so they got together again. Uh, the drummer is from Death, Iced Earth, uh, Richard Christie. Um, a lot of folks probably know, know him in the uh, music industry. Um, Creatures Watching Over the Dead. This is... A pleasant surprise. It's on Metal Blade Records. I was completely blown away. They have the anthemic elements, the metal elements, and the the way Ripper sings on this album. It's not just repeat the chorus, repeat the chorus multiple times. It's intricate vocal lines. I, I don't know, man. He recorded his vocal track in four days. Four days. Incredible. Just the guitar work is incredible. The drum work is. Everything is is killer on this Ooh, album. I, I smell. I smell. Pleasantly surprised. Early nominee for album of the year here, Happy <laughs> Jim. You see, they really like it. A glorious burden was probably Ripper's best performance. Love I love that album. Love it. In Iced Earth. I love it. And I would say this was probably the priest album they should have made. You know, you have Demolition and the other one. I can't remember what it was, but this should have been. This was the priest album that he never made. This should have been it. Very cool album. Go check it out. Pick up Airborne. Pick up Charred Walls of the Damned their new album, and we'll catch you next time on The, the Metal, Metal Voice. Boys.